<laughs> have you ever heard of the Kama Sutra? Yes, I've. <laughs> I have heard of the Kama Sutra. Okay. Uh, do you know what it's about? I know what it's about. I have not studied it. Neither have I. But I've seen, have you seen pictures? Well, that of, would of entail the... studying it. So, no, I have. <laughs> so, you've never seen pictures of the. Not even examined it. Nope. Not even images online? None. Not, so, you have no idea what's in it? No. You don't know what's in it? I, I, I know what's in it. What's in it? <laughs> <laughs> Different. <laughs> Renewal of the covenant position for, for our non-believer friends. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Different sexual positions. Okay. All right. So that's the com- that's the Kama Sutra. Um, I have an honest question. As a, as a, as a married man, should should Christians, you know, use the Kama Sutra if, for example, they have been virgins their whole life, they don't really know much. About sex, do you think it's it's justified, or there's no sin for a Christian to participate and use the Kama Sutra? Um, like, what do you think? Okay, so I, I guess because you you asked that, and I, I know you're 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 referring to that verse in the Book of Hebrews that the marriage bed remains undefiled. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just got into the podcast. <laughs> okay, all right, go and for so it. So for the Christian man. It's not that that verse is not referring to uh, to a Christian couple can do anything they want. Why not, though? In the marriage bed and then it not be undefiled. What it's referring to is that. The marriage bed is a clean place because those two are in they are in in in, uh, covenant. They're in God's covenant. Mm -hmm. So God has blessed the covenant. Okay. so anything outside of marriage. Right. Let's say let's say there's two Christian friends who they fall for each other and one day they're spending too much time and they happen to do the dirty. Right. That bed is defiled because it's rumble in the jungle. Yes. They rumble in the jungle. It's it's not it's not something that's clean. Um, It's an unclean act. But the marriage bed remains undefiled because God has blessed the very marriage that the two people are in. I like that. I think um, I, I think that's I think that's really good. That's a great point. But you still haven't answered the question. The question ooh. is: Should married couples who are Christians, you know, study or use the Kama Sutra as reference to help them in their sex life? Okay. So, should <laughs> my opinion, all right? Because uh-huh. the, 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 the should. That's where that's where people get a little messy. Should, uh-huh. right? Can you? Sure, you can. You can do anything you want. It's <laughs> so political, bro. I'm not gonna recommend it. Why? Why um, not though? What's wrong with it? Okay, so the Kama Sutra shows many different sex positions, correct? Mm-hmm. Right, and I'm sure because what what religion is that? The Kama Sutra I think it's is Hindi. I think it's uh it's it's in the, from India. Okay. Oh, well, or is it Japanese? I don't know. It's one of those two. I don't know. Just make sure you comment and 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 correct us if if we're wrong. But whether it's it's Hindu or or, or Buddhism or, or whatever yeah. uh, Eastern practice, um, I'm I'm sure they explain. I guess the energy. Hey, real quick, I'm so happy that you're watching this video. If this is blessing you, please make sure to like and subscribe so that we can make more content for you. This is the Men of Impact podcast. We're here to impact men so make sure you like the video subscribe and come back for more now let's get back into the video that's given off and um that things that may be good for if they believe you know in the soul depending on whatever religion that is um but these are different sex positions so there would essentially if we're just looking at the book for different sex positions right because it's an it's an illustrated book so you get to see what these positions look like there's no difference than if me and my wife say, you know what, we want to learn about some more positions, let's just watch some porn. Okay, hold up. What do you mean by that? Like reference guy? Like so? So are they? No, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just asking where you are. Yeah. So, I, well, I, okay. So then, if I can stray away from the porn, then what? The question is, why are you looking at the Kama Sutra? Again, what inside there, like, what are you are you seeking to obtain? This is the thing, you know, you, you we're talking about Christians, right? We're talking about believers. 
No, all right, so okay, so we're talking about Christians. We're talking about believers, yeah, the, who are the, married. The ideal Christian couple, yeah, are going to be two clean, two pure beings who have not been defiled by any other bed. So ideally, what we're talking about are people who have abstained from having sex, people who are virgins, but okay. also people who may have been through a season where their sex life has hit a plateau. You know, or maybe it's going through a valley. How would they know? How would they know that? How would a? How would a? I think. Go ahead. Well, okay. Yeah. An ideal Christian, an ideal married couple. Uh All right, and I understand the times that we live in. This is not normal. When we talk about, you know, a man goes through lust, and and we say, oh, you know, it's it's normal. It's not normal. This is not a normal thing. Lust is not a normal thing. (laughs) 